Best morning, everyone. It's good to be in the presence of the Lord. Before we start our devotion, let's bow our heads and let us pray. Heavenly Father, our Almighty God, may we humbly ask you today to work in each of us. Holy Spirit saturates us. Let heaven be opened and we'll see your great and wonders. All glory and honor belongs to you alone. We pray this in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, may announcement po tayo. Ngayon po ay umpisa ng atin o nagumpisa na po ang ating 5-day prayer and fasting activity from April 26 to 30. Mamimi Mamili lang po kayo kung anong gusto nyong um, schedule ng pagkain nyo in everyday na gusto nyong skip para spend po sa panalangin. So let's as, let us all unlock the gates of heaven. Our devotion for today is about why do we pray? It is in a question form. Why really do we pray? Why do we pray? In Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, Basahin ko po dito, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord says, we should not be anxious or to worry or to be in extreme uneasiness of mind of anything. You name it, what are these that we are worrying about? Which is money, relationships, partners in life, work, sources of income, future, family, children, business, marriage or help what should we do then ano po ang ating gagawin the bible says but in prayer and petition ano po ang ibig sabihin prayer and petition which is appealing to god crying to god pleading to god supplicate to god begging to God, asking to God humbly, present this or give your request to Him. And the Lord who transcends men, who bids, exceeds, outmatches all understanding, all comprehension, will guard, protect, Watch, cover, shield your heart and your mind with peace. Amen. The Lord is saying to us, My child, do not let your heart and mind be troubled. I am here. The Lord is saying, I am here. Pray. Ask from me, and I will give it. The Lord is just prayer away. Until now, I am amazed at how God answered my parents' prayer for us. When I was still living with my parents, it means when I was still single, I often heard my dad praying loudly in the room before he sleeps at night and waking up in the morning. My mom also wakes up every day at 4 a.m. in the morning and start walking more than one kilometer distance going to church. What is she going to do there? To pray. She will not only go there only on Sundays, she will not go to pray. It means, she, yes, on Sunday she will go to attend service. Until now, my mom doing this 
doing this as part of his life of her life you see if we keep on doing if we keep on praying intentionally it will become our habit a part of our life my parents prayed for us to finish our studies despite of being tenants and poor lo and behold by god's grace all of us seven finish our studies praise the lord the lord honored the prayers of my parents likewise the lord also will honor our prayers until something happens we will not give up even if we are praying this for a year three years ten years or more the lord will surely answer our prayers why because he is an answering god i have a story long time ago when my dad was in grade four he and his mom went to the market to buy something my dad wanted a new short pen but his mom doesn't want to buy it even though he keeps insisting besides it it's his money from his wage working at the farm because his mom doesn't want to buy the short he cried and threw tantrums he rolled over and over again on the floor and cried aloud in front of many people. His mom cannot do anything. At the end, he, she bought the short pen. I know my dad did the shameful thing because he knew that his mom has money in her pocket. If our parents know how to give good things, how much more of our Heavenly Father that we know He is rich, miracle worker, giver, provider, healer, name it. So, let's keep on praying and presenting our humble request to God with thanksgiving let's let's be like a child a child has pure innocent and they are bold our prayers need not to be formal like a child asking anything from his earthly father so do we ask anything from our father in heaven we also should try to travail in our prayers like a mother in labor i am sure the lord will answer our prayers according to shane idleman he said travail before we prevail yes this is true because i tried and it worked i prayed in pain as i poured out my heart to god for an hour or less name it God didn't fail to answer me I want to share with you my daily devotion pattern in my notes I started to read from the book of Genesis onwards but some begin in the book of Chan here's an example I put the day, the Bible chapter, which is John chapter 3, verse 1 to 36. I read the whole chapter and I put the promise, which is eternal life. The command, what is the command in that verse? To believe. What is the warning? Perish, destruction. Self-reflection, I put it there, or practical application, which is, God loves me so much. I believe in Him. I will not perish. I have everlasting life. I believe in Jesus Christ. I will share Jesus Christ. 
Here's also my prayer schedule. I made this so that I will have direction in my prayers. This includes the whole world. Monday, I will pray for missionaries. Tuesday, I will pray for pastors and their families. Wednesday, I will pray for the church leaders, church ministers, and believers. Thursday, I will pray for the sources of income of believers and works for believers. Friday, I will pray for our nation, Philippines, and other nations. Saturday, I will pray for my family, my relatives, friends, my own family, and myself. On Sunday, it's a Thanksgiving day. I'll give praise and worship to God. Let's remember this word PUSH and its acronym. PUSH. P stands for pray. U stands for until. S stands for something. H stands for happen. So let's push. So let's pray until something happens. Keep pushing until you unlock the heaven's gate. According to the inspiration I noted from YouTube, I watch this YouTube and I am inspired too. So I want to share with you also what I have quote from this word. It says, A Christian can be seen more on his knees than he can on his feet. Prayer is preparing you or prepare, preparing me to do God's will. Prayer is the only way to release the supernatural power of God in your life and in my life, in the life of your family, in your marriage, in your business, in your work, in your studies, to show the great and mighty things that you know not. Prayer is the key that unlocks the gates of heaven and closes the gates of hell. Prayer has the power to cure viruses, sicknesses, and diseases. Prayer can shatter the shackles of misery that are tormenting your life, life of your son, life of your daughter, life of your husband, or wife. Prayer does not need proof. Prayer needs practice. If your family is under attack, pray. If your marriage is under attack, pray. If a, fa if a member of your family is under attack, pray. If the member of your family is tormented by the spirit of darkness, pray. If your business is failing or rising, pray. If you are struggling in finances, pray. If you are happy or joyful, anxious, worried, pray. If you are healthy or not, Pray. If you are fighting a deadly disease, pray. If you are lost and without God, pray. If you lack wisdom, pray. If your life is empty, meaningless, hopeless, pray. 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 Because God answers prayer. A prayerful Christian is a strong Christian. A prayerful Christian is a directed Christian. A prayerful Christian 
lives in victory. A prayerful church is a strong church. A prayerful nation is a victorious nation. A, prayer a prayerful family lives in harmony. It has been said over and over again, a family that prays together stays together. God expects us to pray every day of the week. Pray for the people in your house. Why we pray? Because God answers prayer. He cannot answer unless we pray. The Bible says, What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you release on earth will be released in heaven. God is looking at us, saying, I have given you the authority of my name. I have given you the power of my word. I have given you the sanctity of my blood. When are you going to use the power I have given you to bless the kingdom of hell to the ground and proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord? Ask God things that are impossible because nothing is impossible in Him. Jesus said in John 14, 14, you may ask anything in my name, and I will give it. Are you not happy of that? You will ask anything, name it, anything in the name of Jesus Christ, and he will give it. Ask him to kill the giant in your life. Ask him to divide the sea and turn your enemies into fish food. Ask him to walk with you in fire because he said, you will walk in fire, but the fire will not burn you. Ask him to walk with you in water and the water will not draw you. Ask him because he is the God that cannot fail. Yes, He is the God that cannot fail. He's waiting to show you the great and mighty things. So pray. 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 Let us pray. God in heaven would want you the power. God of heaven would want you that power. As according in his infinite power, God is saying, I want you to ask me, my child, I want you to ask me to move mountains, to raise the dead marriage to life again, to cure the incurable disease, to free the oppressed, to turn the impossible to possible. Ask God. This is the key to answering our prayers, is to ask God. Ask God. Brothers and sisters, let, let us be like the child who is asking to his parents. Let's be like a child asking also to our Heavenly Father. You should ask. Just ask to God anything. He said anything in His name and He will give it. Let us ask God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify You. You are the unanswering God. We thank you for your words that gives us life and hope. Help us, O Lord, to practice prayer every day as you are expecting us to do. 
Holy Spirit fills us that we will be able to do great and wonders. May we always pray of humbleness. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and honor. This we ask in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God forever and ever. God bless everyone.